Alright, so here we are with our file that had our audio embedded. We have moved it into the latest version of PowerPoint and we are not in compatibility uh, mode and we've also done the optimize for compatibility step earlier. So what we're going to do now is just set up the timings to advance through the song automatically. Now I've already gone through and made sure that the verses we have match the song we have. So what we're going to use is a feature called rehearse timings in PowerPoint and how this works is you basically click rehearse timings and it starts to play back the show but it remembers um, I guess the timings of your clicks as you advance through the show and um, this basically means we can preset it how long we want to spend on each slide rather than having to work out or time how long each verse goes for we can just play it through like you would if you were advancing the slides manually um, the thing that I've found when doing this is that it's uh, more efficient just to click and advance the slides when you hear the lyrics for the verse coming rather than trying to preempt it like you would in a live show. What you can then do is go back to the first slide and simply uh, make it so that it transitions an extra second or so faster and then it will essentially make the entire show shift forward by whatever length of time you subtract from the first slide. The other note that I'm going to suggest is that we add the transitions between slides before we set up the timings because um, the way that Office works, uh, if you add your pretty transitions afterwards, that will throw your timings out because the amount of time spent on each slide is uh, in addition to however much time it took transitioning from the previous one in the animation. So we'll just use this push one just because it helps to illustrate that we're advancing through the song. So we're going to go slideshow and rehearse timings and I'll basically be clicking and uh, telling you as I click through the song. give it a few seconds uh, at the end that will be added on to the show before we click and advance it to finish. So about there. Now it says total time. Do you want to save the timings? The answer is yes. Because if you click no, then you have to do it all again. So what we're going to do now is if we go into transitions and we can see now 
that each of the slides have a different time. So what we're going to do is we're just going to subtract essentially one and a half seconds from this first slide that will just um, mean that it transitions one and a half seconds earlier than what I had clicked in the show and that then shuffles all of these ones forward by the same amount. So if we just start the show we'll see that after eight seconds it'll advance on from this first title slide and the words will be there basically in time uh, for you to read and say. Amazing. There we go. And you can tweak and change that um, to be as long or as short as you like and um, go from there. But I found that to be a much faster way than trying to, I suppose, uh, preempt it and click through each time because uh, when you do it this way and just adjust on the first slide, you don't really need a huge degree of familiarity with the uh, arrangement that you're uh, setting up to be used. So that's the end of this next video and the one after this will basically be on how to uh, embed these into a larger show and also how to convert them into a video and the advantages and reasons why you would do that. Thanks.